Okay, so journalistic independence is the key concept as far as you, as you are concerned. And uh, in practical terms, what that does mean? Journalistic independence is absolutely vital. It is major importance in any free society. You cannot be bought. You should not be bought. You are free to be fair, to be impartial, to be accurate, to be honest, and if you are that kind of person, to be brave as well. And that's what the role of broadcasters is. That's what the role of proper journalism is. And that's why public service broadcasting, like the broadcaster for which I do some work, the BBC, is of huge importance. And that's a question that I was going to ask you about the public service broadcaster. Um, you love it. And uh, are there enemies to the public service broadcaster? There are enemies everywhere and they are increasing in power and influence. I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist. They're open, the enemies. They're ideological enemies who believe that in the 21st century you do not need public service broadcasting. You've got social media, you've got endless numbers of radio and television stations and they believe the market alone should prevail. And you have the uh, commercial rivals of public service broadcasters who would like to see them very much diminished, the BBC crumbling, so that they could fill the space as the edifice collapsed in order to make more money. And there are some very major enemies of that kind. And they're having more influence now than I think they've ever had in the past. As this is uh, uh, an interview for the web, can I ask you your position vis-a-vis -vis the web? Are you in favor or against? I strongly believe in the freedom of the web, of the social media. It is a source of fantastic liberation for people, whether it is information you want from Wikipedia or wherever it may be, communicating with others. That's the upside. That's the good side. There is also a very dark side, and I don't just mean the dark web. I mean the ability of trolls to hound people, uh, the people to tell lies and cheat, and that. There's an old English phrase that so fast is communications now that a lie gets halfway around the world before the truth has got its boots on. And that's the downside. You can ruin a reputation, you can destroy a character. So there is an upside and a downside. Would I uh, seek to suppress the downside by law? No. Thank you very much. It's been a great pleasure. My pleasure.